Professor Forp here, and we're going to have some fun with lines, angles, and circles. You can look smart. Actually, you can be smart. Do some interesting figuring. As I said before, I never repeat myself, so pay attention. We are going to start by dividing a pie like this, through the middle. Let's say you know that this piece of the pie is a 30 degree angle. How many degrees is this piece over here? Oh, should I know, you may be muttering. Well, you may remember that when two lines cross, the opposite angles are the same. That means that this angle and this angle are the same. And this angle and this one are also the same. When two angles are the same, measured in degrees, we say they are congruent. So, if this angle is 30 degrees, then this angle is also 30 degrees. 30 degrees plus 30 equals 60 degrees. Remember, all the angles in a circle add up to 360 degrees. 360 degrees minus 60 degrees for these two angles leaves 300 degrees. That means that these two angles together equal 300 degrees. Since they are equal, they are each 150 degrees. Because 150 degrees plus 150 degrees equals 300 degrees. Knowing that opposite angles are the same is handy information to have. Suppose you've got a pie and want to give two of your friends each a piece that is exactly the same size. If you cut the pieces through the middle, each piece that is opposite will be the same. Circles. They're as easy as pie. There you have it. Circles are 360 degrees, and opposite angles, or pieces of the pie, are congruent. That means that they are the same. Didn't I say that you are smart? Until next time, be sure to learn new information daily. Be sure to share and subscribe for more videos that make learning fun.